Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to look at a Mr. Beast philanthropy video. I'm using the heartbeat tool. It's at h.ki or h key. And Mr. Beast here is going to go ahead and help over a hundred kids in Mexico with their smiles. Get them some surgery. Uh, let's kick in off. Let's kick this off. It's about helping children and their parents with cleft palate surgery. So here we go. The first moment, you'll see it right here, is called Smile and Breathe Properly. Let's click on it and start it off. Over 200,000 children are born without the ability to smile and even worse, breathe properly. 99% of people are born like this, with a full ability to breathe through their nasal airway passage. There you go. So that's most of us right here, but 1% don't have that. Let's click forward to that moment and you'll see that it's a cool animation actually. Let's click forward. Another 1% looks like this, with a cleft lip or palate, which makes life terribly difficult for these children as they grow up. In poorer areas, there is no way for many of these people to get health care, meaning... Th yes, so in some areas they can't get the health care. And also, I don't know if you guys, you know, if you watch uh, dog channels, but, you know, you see a lot of French bulldogs actually have the same type of issue. Not trying to make an equivalence between the two, but it doesn't just affect humans. It affects animals as well. So uh, puppy dogs, uh, French bulldogs specifically. So uh, there you go. So let's kick forward here. We're going to meet someone named Kathy. And this lady, well, she's incredible. She's dedicated her life to making other people's lives better. Let's take a look here at 30 seconds. There is one organization that is making a big difference in communities all around the world. Meet Kathy. 40 years ago, my husband and I were asked to go to the Philippines. We landed in sites one after the next, and we saw 300 children with cleft lip and palates. We just didn't know what to do. We said, let's do what we can, and we were able to do 40. The rest we had to turn away. So, so there you go. She saw 300 children with it. She got 40 probably of the worst cases to get uh, the surgery and the help they needed, but she had turned some away. What an amazing person what an, to do this for 40 years and, and dedicate your life to helping so many people. I don't even know what to say. I mean, just makes you want to be a better person. Uh, way to go, Kathy. All right, let's, let's skip forward here. Uh, we're going to look at Operation Smile. This is the start of Operation Smile, and in 40 years, they've been able to achieve over 400,000 successful surgeries for patients in 36 countries all 36 countries, 400,000 surgeries. That's 10,000 surgeries a year. What an amazing story. What an amazing lady. What an amazing husband she must have. Just unbelievable. I, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, but uh, there you go. So that's the next moment here. Now we're going to look at Dan and Darren. I thought it was Dan and Dan, but it's actually Dan and Darren. So one of the things you can do with the heartbeat tool is just click on it and change it. Oops, not Doreen. We're going to just change it while I got you here. So there you go. They're going to fly to Mexico. Let's take a look at these guys. Darren and Dan flew to Puebla, Mexico, a city with rich Latin history and culture. On their so they go there and, I mean, they show off all the amazing sights of, of, of Mexico. But what we want to do is we really want to focus on the, on the philanthropy side. So uh, we're going to go forward and skip now to meet Mauricio, who runs Operation Smile. And he's over there in Mexico. They were welcomed by Mauricio. I started with Operation Smile 11 years ago. One of the reasons why I wanted to dedicate my life into nonprofits is because in Mexico there's a huge gap between people that can actually have access to any surgery. I met a young lady. This is when rough. she came to one of our surgical programs, she had a bruised eye. They threw stones at her because of the way she spoke. It just broke my heart. This is yeah, so the bullying side is the other part. Not only are there breathing issues, there are bullying issues, and if you know anything about young children, and I was one at one time, so I'm not going to excuse myself here, but it's very easy to bully people that are different than you or they're outside the norm. And, yeah, I mean, a little kid getting a rock thrown at them, I mean, there's, there's just no words for something like that. So, anyway, it just makes this more important that they're doing this. So uh, let's skip forward, forward here. Let's, little, let's learn a little more about Mauricio, and then we're going to meet Emmanuel. And then we're going to look at some of the surgeries and how that goes. Decided to dedicate my life to the cleft cause in Mexico. We met a young child and he is one of the sweetest kids I've ever met in my entire life. But he has a terrible disfigurement on his face. And this child is so sweet and so loving, but it breaks my heart knowing the bullying that he is going to face as he... Yeah, there's more of the same, guys. It's just unbelievable. 
Anyways, let's meet Emmanuel. Uh, he's a particularly uh, tough case. And then we'll talk about his backstory and, and why some parts of this video kind of don't sit well with me. But let's get into Emmanuel's case. This is Emmanuel. 17 months ago, he was born with a bilateral cleft palate. He is the son of Hieronimo, a single father who lives in the rural mountains of Chiapas. The cost of healthcare has proven to be extremely expensive for him, as he barely makes enough money to support his son. Meaning that his only hope is to travel by bus for 17 hours to Playbla for the only chance of being selected for a surgery. And okay, so he's got a particularly difficult case. His dad's a single dad, lives in the mountains, can't afford the health care. Let's hope he gets selected. Uh, let's skip forward a little more uh, to the next moment. It's called No Shoes. You see no shoes on their feet. They will do anything for their child. I can only imagine the pain for a parent when they have a child that desperately needs a surgery and they cannot afford to provide it for them themselves. Yeah. And when we saw just how difficult this was for these families, we knew we had to help. So we decided to pay for over 100 surgeries. The next day... There you go. So that is the gist of the video. He's going to pay for 100 children to get uh, the surgery. So not Maybe not just children, uh, but mostly children, I'm sure. And uh, yes, uh, that may include Emmanuel. Let's skip forward here. Uh, the next moment's called Emotional Day 97, which, yeah, you'll see. Today is a very emotional day for me. Behind me, we got the patients, and we're going to do the surgical announcement. They are about just to be told that they're going to be having a life change forever. Ninety-seven patients had already been selected, and Hieronimo started to lose hope. It was time for patient number 99. So there you go. Uh, this young fella is going to get the surgery and this man is no doubt happy, but this is the part that sits with me a little wrong. It feels like this was used to create drama because if they had selected 100 people, you know, pulling him as like the number 99 out of 100 just feels like they could have pulled him at number one, but they made him wait and sweat it out and they recorded it. So this part, I'm not sure how I feel about that. In fact, I kind of would like your comments uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. It just feels like, you know, this feels like it has a little bit of the uh, America's, got, America's Got Talent needless drama. But anyways, um, there you go. This little fella is getting selected. And then I've got one more moment that I want to share with you. It's called My Heart. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll shut her down. Our patients are going to have the opportunity to actually have a normal life. A healed cleft means that all these children will grow up not having to worry about being bullied. And on top of these extraordinary surgeries, Operation Smile also provides all of their patients with free speech and vocal therapy, meaning that they will learn how to speak clearly and fluently. So there it is, guys. Uh, not only are they getting the surgery, they're getting the uh, attendant help to go with it, you know, the vocal help to... All the things that you need to, you know, go with the surgery. So it's all done there, guys. That's the video. Uh, kudos to Mr. Beast for, for doing this and for his team with this philanthropy. Um, still not 100% sold on the Emmanuel and the needless drama there, but I guess they got to make a YouTube video, so you do what you got to do. So anyways, look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching.